Here are 26 bloons facts you possibly didn't know. Number one, Ben's Bloon Trojan does not always lose you money. In fact, it actually makes you money on pink balloons and it gets better as time goes on when pops are worth less money. Number two, the BMA usually brings ZMGs and below down to red balloons, but if they are affected by a glue storm, it will actually pop them completely. Number three is that balloons gain health and speed as the rounds go on, so a round 100 bad will be much weaker than a round 999 bad. Number four is if you place Geraldo's spicy potion on a boomerang monkey and activate its ability, the minion will shoot boomerangs crazy fast doing tons of damage. Number five is that only a select few of the tier five monkeys change appearance with their cross paths. Some examples of these would be the Legend of the Night, the True Sun God, the Glaive Lord, and Banana Central, but most of the tier fives just look like their base models. Number six is that in Battles 2, the Legend of the Night's Black Hole doesn't work after round 40. Instead, you'll just leak like normal. Number seven is that Geraldo restocks his shop at the end of each round with different items requiring different amounts of rounds to be restocked. The exception to this is that when he hits level 20, he completely restocks his shop. Number eight is that Sandbox sets the level cap to the highest round you've beaten or round 999, whichever comes first. Number nine is that the village cannot buff itself, but it can be buffed by a different village. This is why you see Monkey Opus is always being buffed by Monkey Cities. Speaking of villages, number 10 is that you can buff a primary expertise with a stronger stimulant alchemist to increase its range, which is really good for when you are spamming bombs. Number 11 is that Geraldo's fertilizer causes banana farms to increase their cash production by 25%. Now this doesn't work on banks or marketplaces, but if you use this on a BRF, it pays itself off in one round. Number 12 is that the XX5 farm now collects bananas for you, and it has roughly the range of a banana farmer, not the range of the monkey Wall Street itself. Number 13 is that Geraldo has performed the second 1TC ever, the first one being done by Sada. Number 14 is that 032 engineers were actually able to slow down Bad's last patch, though this has now been fixed in update 31.1. Number 15 is that one genie can solo the bad layer on a long map like logs, and two genies can completely take it out. Number 16 is that in Battles 2, you start with the Bomb, Tack, and Dart Monkey, which initials his BTD. Coincidence? I think not. Number 17 is that Geraldo's Jar of Pickles gets applied to both the tower and all of its sub-towers, meaning if you put it on an Engineer, it'll also buff all of his Sentry turrets, and if you put it on Geraldo, it will also buff all of his Shooty turrets. Number 18 is that the Sharpening Stone buff used to increase the pierce of both the Shrapnel and the total number of bounces of the Middle Path Sniper, however this has been nerfed to only increasing the pierce of its Shrapnel. Number 19 is that the Rare Quincy Action Figure can be used for Vision for Submarines or for a good placement of Geraldo's Spicy Potion, so it can be beneficial to put this thing close to the track. Number 20 is that the new map Scrapyard can actually pop balloons for you. The only other cases of this are the Sword on Ravine and the Cave Monkey in Frozen Over. Number 21 is that at higher levels, the Sea Invisibility Potion actually grants extra range and extra damage to camos, making it a useful addition to towers even if they already have camo detection. Number 22 is that the 500 Wizard actually gets the Shimmer ability, making it able to pop camos even if not cross paths as a 502. Number 23 is that you can't get a VTSG in Battles 2 even if you bring 4 monkeys into the arena. I assume this is because there's no monkey knowledge, as you also can't get 2 crossbow masters. Number 24 is that DDT stands for Dark Dirigible Titan, which is fancy for a dark airship of great strength. Number 25 is that the Rare Quincy action figure increases in value every round and sells for 95% of its value. This does have a cap of $10 million though, making it the most expensive item in the game. And to finish this thing off, number 26 is that the main screen's Monkey Village clock is actually synced with your device, so you can see it's actually 3 o'clock for me right now.